What seems like a lifetime ago, Batman vs. Superman was announced as a real project, and me being me, I immediately began to think about the possibilities for a skit that I could make for my review of the film, and after a lot of thinking, I came up with a few ideas. Then, Ben Affleck was cast as the new Batman, and when that happened, a new idea sparked. The idea for this video, and being someone who is a very big believer in following the heart, I sat down last May feeling very inspired and began writing this video. It wasn't my plan, but in light of the nature of this video, I ended up going through a process I have never before experienced, which is that I wrote one page without stopping and then returned to that page only when I felt an urgency within to write more. This happened many times in between my first and final writing session, and in between each time, I was meditating, you know, making sure that I was telling the story right and that everything I needed in the story was there. Um, it took a long time, but now I am ready. The Batman character came into my life at a very young age and through the medium that I love and have chosen to devote my life to film. It was 1994, I was two years old. My family was on vacation and we were all in the hotel room trying to pick a movie to watch. My parents cannot recall what the choices were, but eventually my sister chose to watch Batman. And that was a big choice because that made Batman the first movie I ever saw. I was in my Jim Bree pajamas staring up at the screen and as the story goes, I asked over and over again to the absolute annoyance of my sister, where's Batman? Where is he? Where is the Batman? Because let's get one thing straight here. The movie is called Batman, not Bruce Wayne. Give me the Batman. When I was given the Batman, I was the happiest kid. I don't know what about the character I liked, but I was enthralled. And according to my mom, Every day since that day, I have never stopped talking about Batman or movies. I was obsessed. When I was growing up, I watched every Batman movie that came out. Good or bad, irrelevant. As long as Batman was in it, I watched it. And I also, more often than not, had to own it. Fast forward to July 20th, 2008. My dad and I together saw The Dark Knight in IMAX. And being there in the auditorium among all of the fans who were very excited, I was as well, I had a feeling that I was in for something very special. <laughs> I was right. Keep in mind, at this point in time, I am 16 years old. I will be entering my junior year of high school. I have watched a lot of movies, primarily action, and still only viewed them at that point in time as a means to escape from reality. As fate would have it, The Dark Knight changed that. I realized for the first time just how many people are behind the camera, making everything in front of it possible, and it blew my mind. I also saw the Batman character in a different light, a very different light. He was no longer just Bruce Wayne in a disguise. He was a really complex human being who was in a lot of pain and had formed this remarkable and unruly relationship with Jim Gordon. He was this creature of the night and used his parents' death as motivation for a very aggressive form of community service and is totally and completely devoted and passionate about what he does. He is the best at what he does, and Nolan, Fister, and Goyer captured that. The Dark Knight is definitely, for me, one of those films I really wish I could experience again for the first time. It was a crucial and pivotal moment in my life because when the film ended, I left the auditorium and in the hallway, um, this sensation came over me that I had never felt before in my life, and in that moment, I felt an internal click in my stomach, and a voice in my head said, that's it. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to be a film director. I had no clue what that meant exactly, but I knew that's what I wanted to do. That's what I was born to do. 
And when I told my parents, their response was, it's going to be difficult because there's a lot of competition, but if you pour as much time and energy into making films as you have watching them, you know, we know you'll make it. With their support, I enrolled in film school in the fall of 2012 and will be graduating at the end of this year. And every day since day one of film school, I have worn somewhere on my body the bat symbol, be it a watch, a sweater, or a t-shirt. It's somewhere. The bottom line, when I combine my two-year-old and 16-year-old experience together, is an unquestionable fact. Batman is my god. He has been my guiding light in life. He led me to my passion and my purpose. Without him, I have no idea who Kevin Miller would be. But every day when I wake up, I know who I am, and I don't ever want to lose that feeling because I love who I am. And with Batman watching over me, I know I always will.